Hi, my name is Luis Hernandez. This is my personal statement video for the Masters of Arts in Education with Concentration and Counseling Program. I will now start off by reading the first prompt. The first prompt goes as, tell us what you are most passionate about and why you are interested in becoming a mental health professional, counselor, or educator. So one of the reasons that I would like to be a health professional, a counselor, or educator is the fact that I love helping others. It's one of the things that I love doing because I know it makes a big difference in their lives. So for in this instance, my main goal would probably be would probably be to become a counselor and more specifically would be an academic counselor. The reason why I want to be an academic counselor is because I love helping those with their education, which is why from the very beginning, I chose to be a teacher. I went to school, I got my associate's degree in liberal studies, I got my bachelor's degree in liberal studies, but somewhere throughout that whole process, I realized that the impact that I wanna make wouldn't be the same as being in the classroom. It has to be somewhere where I could be more of a one-on-one uh, -on -one with the student, which is why I think as a counselor, I would be able to do that because I would be able to give them advice, proper advice that will benefit them not only right now, but in their future, because I'd be able to tell them or be able to give them the proper advice for what classes for them to take and why that would benefit them in the long run. I like thinking more about the long run than the short term thing. So to me, it's more about let's focus on the marathon rather than the short little sprint. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to my, to the next prompt. The next prompt goes as, what do you hope to learn throughout the program? One of the things that I hope to learn throughout the program is proper mental health strategies, mental health techniques, etc. things like that. Because in my pre previous profession, I worked with a lot of students that were in the foster system and they had a lot of mental health issues. And with the minimum education that I currently had regarding mental health, I was able to somewhat give them proper advice regarding their mental health issues. A lot of it was more of a communicating with each other, letting them vent out to me. A lot of times that's all it was. They just needed someone to vent to. There are times when I would have to report any self-harm or any wanting to self-harm themselves. So with that, I would need to know what to do in that situation. How can I prevent it in the first place? What can I do now that it is happening? So what I hope to learn throughout the program is prevention. If not prevent, if it's too late for prevention, how to stop it? How can we grow from that? That's what I hope to learn from this program. The next prompt will be, or is, what do you imagine you will, will be your contribution to the field and how will you work with others to provide them with helpful mental health services? So as previously mentioned, I my main goal is to be an uh, academic counselor. Hopefully I could do that in the college level. So with that being said, my contribution to the field would be that they would, those students would be able to come to me for academic advice and I would be able to notice whether they need some mental, whether they're going through some mental health crisis, mental health issues. And from there, I'd be able to provide those proper services to them in the sense that we need to take a break from the academic structure and focus on their mental health focus on the recovery from the mental health that they were going through because a lot of them if they're going through a mental health recovery maybe taking four or five classes in the college level might be a little too much for their mental health recovery part so i'd be able to stop and see that hey and this prop in this time you might need to only take two classes maybe three classes and what i want to do to provide others with helpful mental health services is in the future. I want to be able to teach a class regarding 
mental health services regarding some of the techniques that I have learned. So that would probably hopefully be in a college level, if not even a university level. And I feel like if we get that out there, the strategy, the techniques, one, it'll take away from the stigma regarding mental health. A lot of when I, what I mean about stigma is that there's so much negativity regarding mental health. It's always you're crazy, you're just you know, want attention, things like that. And I know that it's far, it's not even anything related to that. And it's more about just, I want to educate others. That's one of the goals that, if that's a future goal, that's a long-term goal that I have that I think would benefit a lot of people. It's just educating those with or with information regarding mental health issues, mental health recovery, things like that. And that'll be the end of my video. Hope you all enjoyed it, whoever watches it. And thank you for your time.